Now, we've already seen in other videos that burning fossil fuels, like coal, oil, and natural gas, produces carbon dioxide and water, at the same time as releasing loads of energy. However, this only happens when pure hydrocarbons are burned with plenty of oxygen, which allows the hydrocarbons to burn completely. Unfortunately, this doesn't always happen. So in this video, we're going to look at the pollutants that burning these fossil fuels can make, including carbon monoxide, particulates like soot, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides, with a focus on how they're made and why they're harmful. Whenever a hydrocarbon burns in plenty of oxygen, and so burns completely, we call the process complete combustion. And the only product we should get are water and carbon dioxide. However, when there's not enough oxygen available, we instead get incomplete combustion, which can release carbon monoxide and particulates, which are solid particles of carbon that we call soot. If we start with particulates, there are two main problems to be aware of. The first is that if they're inhaled, they can get stuck in your lungs and damage them, which can lead to respiratory problems. The second issue is that they can form dark clouds or smog which reflects sunlight back into space. And this means that less light reaches the Earth, which we call a global dimming. Carbon monoxide, on the other hand, is dangerous for one very specific reason. If we breathe carbon monoxide in from the air, it diffuses into our blood and binds to our hemoglobin, in the same place that oxygen binds. This means that our hemoglobin can carry less oxygen and so less oxygen gets transported around the body. In severe cases, this can lead to fainting, a coma, and even death, as our brain becomes starved of oxygen. And to make things worse, carbon monoxide is both colorless and odorless, which makes it really hard to detect. Pollutants like sulfur dioxide and the different nitrogen oxides, meanwhile, are made a bit differently. Sometimes the hydrocarbons that we burn have impurities in them, like atoms of sulfur. So when we burn them, the sulfur gets oxidized to sulfur dioxide gas. Meanwhile, nitrogen oxides are formed when nitrogen and oxygen from the air react together. This doesn't normally happen, because it requires really high temperatures for them to combine. However, these high temperatures are often reached inside internal combustion engines, like those of cars. Both of these types of pollutants have these same two problems. One is that, just like particulates, when we breathe them in, they can damage our lungs and cause respiratory problems. The bigger problem, though, is that as these gases mix with clouds, they dissolve to form dilute sulfuric acid or dilute nitric acid, which then falls as acid rain. As well as damaging certain buildings and statues, and being able to corrode metals, acid rain also damages plants, either by landing directly on the plant, or by making the soil more acidic, which can make it harder for the plants to grow. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.